Hey, welcome back everybody. Today's video is a little different than our other ones. Um, basically today we're going to talk about uh, drum microphones and kind of specifically kick drums. Uh, we did get a new one and it's an oldie but a goodie, um, but it's one that's a new one. We got uh, an AKG D112, this guy here. Um, we were using this guy here, which was an EV Blue Raven. Um, you may have seen us do a little short on it recently. Um, but today's video, I think I figured, um, if I can speak, that we would go into a little more detail on why we have changed microphones on these two. So um, to get into it, what's new in the studio? Um, nothing really. Uh, we've done some rearrangement. You know, we've done... Um, Oh, we did buy a new Epiphone guitar um, that we're going to be going into here in probably the next week or so. Been playing with sounds on it. it sounds fantastic with our AC30. Anyways, um, that's kind of what's new. Not a whole lot. You know, we just keep putting these videos out. Um, if something new comes around, we'll do some more. If not, um, you know, as people come in and out, we'll do more videos. But anyways, um, on to our microphones. We've got the AKG. D112, looks like this guy, silver in the front, black on the back. The Electro Voice, Blue Raven. Um, I think they actually did, um, on the Blue Raven here, I believe this microphone, it's a great microphone. Um, it was actually made for vocals. Um, we, we've been using it for kick drum, but I believe it was used for vocals. Like, you know, you can get hold it, you know, it's, or harmonica, kind of looks like a harmonica mic, but just with a little bit better frequency spectrum. Um, it's got an XLR on the back where the D112, the XLR is on the bottom. Anyways, we were using this for a kick drum. Sounded great, but I just wanted something with a little more body to it, a little more bottom end. Um, this sounded good, but we had to doctor just a little bit more. So anyways, that's kind of the Blue Raven on kick drum wise. Um, the D112, as you can tell, it's kind of, looks like, they took an egg and turned it on the side and shoved a lollipop up the middle. Anyways, um, it's been used for decades. People use them for bass, use them for kick drums. I've seen them. I've actually used them on guitars before, and they sound pretty good on guitars, too. They're li they're a large diaphragm, very much like the Electro Voice. Um, the Electro Voice just is more suited for vocals. I, I can see people doing vocals with this guy, but... Um, the D112 just seems to work a little bit better for kick drum. You can get it right in the hole because it mounts here, the body up here. They're made in Austria, which is, so they're an Austrian mic company. Actually, they're made, they're owned by Harman now, so I'm not exactly sure if they're really made in Austria. That'd be something to find out. Anyways, so you have your holder like this, and it basically your kick drum is out front here. So you can put this right in the hole and, and still not have your whole microphone shoved right in there, which can be good sometimes because depending on the hole, it doesn't work well. Um, in our short, you can kind of see where we had it posted. We had a, we had it kind of up close to the, the, the hole there, but it varies. I've put it in the center. I've put it in the hole. Sounds good in both those ways. Um, but like I said, we just wanted a more traditional kick drum mic again. Um, the EV was great. Um, might go back to it, might use it as a supplement kick. You know, have two kick mics, have it and the D112. And maybe there'll be a video on that too. Um, but kind of in a, in a nutshell, it's like this, this is our now like kick drum mic that we are going to go to for all of our kick drums. Um, some people like the D6 by Audix. Some people like a Beta 52 by Sure. I think the Beta 52 is a little bright for my liking. The D1 or the D112 is, is kind of a, Almost a mixture between those two, but the high end's not quite so prevalent in a D112 as it is in a Beta 52. Um, the D6 has has a nice attack to it. It's a little scooped. Works really well. Really well. Ugh. Like I said, I can't talk today. Uh, works really well um, for uh, like the metal genres that need that more scooped kick drum. Um, they also work for floor toms. I've actually used these on floor toms too. I've used AKGs on the D112s on, on four toms from time to time um, because you can kind of get them in there and not have symbols, you know, be in the way of symbols. 
um, as some other mics sometimes get get that way. But um, this is our kick drum mic. Like I said, we do a video on it today, and it's you know it's working pretty well so far. Um, might do some more recording with it this week. See how well uh, it works, you know, in our current kick drum room situation. Um, might do a video on that too. But to kind of end of this video, you know, I want to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and helping us get to 100 subscribers. Um, keep helping us grow the channel, you know, hit like, hit subscribe. You'll get notifications through the subscribe or through the bell button. You'll get notifications on when, uh, you know, we post new stuff. You, you'll see it come through. Shorts seem to be doing well. All of our other videos seem to be doing kind of okay, but the shorts do really well. So watch out for more of our shorts that we do. There might be a couple from this video. Also, you know, everybody who is, you know, who finds these entertaining, comical, informational, whatever, share them with your friends. You know, that's what we're here for. We're here to help um, educate on what we're doing. Um, we might post some more videos like that. But be on the lookout for more kick drum mics. There's more to come.